here working hard, bro. Um, Barack Obama has just won the presidency. It's a new at time in America. New, new prosperity, hopefully coming. New change, new direction, new leadership. Um, and yet, some things in America remain the same. Some things are rooted in the past, such as today is the day after election day. And I'm still waiting to race you. I noticed that you're still wearing shorts. Don't worry about the shorts. So, are you ready to race the M Coop today? You ordered my booster pump for me? It's not in yet, so you know the answer. Once it's installed and have the proper fuel, we'll race. I'm busy trying so, you're to seeing your car is actually not, not up to the task, it's missing some parts. Yeah, it's running lean, it needs more fuel. So, should I blow my car beating you? At the same time, just beat you one time and enjoy my car. What do you think? It's up to you, man. Here it is, the, uh, I call this the Evolicious. Evo, man. First we had the Subolicious, now we got the Evolicious. I just wanted to point out, George, how our master Ferrari technician works. When he works on the car, he puts these little paint marks on everything he touches to make sure that everything is covered. All the, the bolts, the fasteners, man, the guy is meticulous, man. That's um, with this car, we were previously making a 670 horsepower pump with alcohol. We have a double shot of uh, Aquamus right here. And uh, now we've changed, we put the Busher throttle body and the Busher intake manifold on the car and we're trying to break 700 horsepower. Yep, correct. This car runs very well. Extremely well. Why do you think this car runs so well? Well, for one, probably you picked out all the parts. That's correct. What's up, Lulu? For beginners, actually, you know, the guy customer came here, wasn't happy with his tune, he was knocking, he was actually at a previous no, facility. Good. 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 Yeah, we're talking. Oh, oh. Next door. He was actually at a previous facility, and uh, no, no, he's having some kind of knocking problem. <laughs> what the fuck did he just say, man? <laughs> he don't even know what he said. I don't know what the fuck he said, man. <laughs> I love him. Anyway, it was at a different facility. Came by here, we're supposed to make an X amount of horsepower. The car was making 390, 390, pulled a few times, it was knocking. Um, got the hydro unit, the hydro unit was giving us a hard time. Brought it back, finally got it working properly. The customer decided to step his game up. Spoke to you, put some busher parts on this car here. Race front mount? Yeah. Busher uh, GT35R tubular turbo kit with the upgraded Busher FS635 turbo. Yeah. We took the air filter off for purposes of our testing today because we have to design a custom. 4 inch math tube, which we didn't do yet. We've done some gauges on it. We redid the alcohol system that wasn't working properly. Busher 2.3 liter block, Busher stage 4 head or stage 3 head, um, Cosworth cams, uh, stock coil, stock ignition, two steps colder I'm spark plug. I'm actually very impressed with the way the drivers work on the hydro on these cars. Works good, right? Going on in the spark, yeah. It's running good, man. Good gauge package on this car, also, if you want to. Oh, yeah, it looks good. It's a very nice car. Basically, it looks like a stock car. Lots of clean car. Got the uh, E-Boost 2. We have the uh, AEM gauge and we have the uh, Aquamus. By the way, this type of uh, boost control will keep a, a customer like some of our more crazy customers honest because you can't go over 40 pounds of boost with this. Yeah, this is true. Well, they do make a model which is 60 pounds. Yeah, yeah, but we keep the 40 PSI. Over boost actually in the... Uh, and you're tuned if you cut off, and actually, uh, the boost controller is set at an overboost feature, too. Okay. For some reason, in case it decides to overboost or anything that's loose, the customer has a safe ride. George, the, one of the, the amazing things about the Hydra is the incredible stock like function and drivability. Why don't you show them how easily the car starts? No touching of the gas pedal, anything. Nothing. Just starts up and holds a nice idle. This is a pretty uh, aggressive Cosworth cams. Basically like a stock car, no? Alright, so now we're going to do some data logging here. We're going to try a base pull with the new setup and then uh, hopefully try to do a little tuning and crack 700 horsepower. That's our goal. This is um, full pump gas. Yeah, pump gas with alcohol. Okay.
the screen up and take a look. Yes. First pull, 640, huh? Yeah, 643. Low boost. Let's see what happens here. We turn the boost up a little bit. Oh, 693. 693, George. Yeah. That, that intake manifold and throttle body makes a huge difference because with this little measly boost control we have we're only uh, touching like 35 pounds of boost yeah um, what a difference eh? that that uh, I would say the busher parts so far have given us over 20 horsepower just with the ported stock uh, me, uh, intake manifold let me remove the last scrap yeah let's we'll see if the torque's it. reading the torque will not read that's a lot of torque for a little Evo huh yeah that's a nice looking uh, dyno sheet man 5200, we're on full torque. I'm sorry? At 5200, we're on full torque. Yeah. I think the car has a little bit more in it, man. Oh, yeah. The car's a little fast for safety, but. The sheet. Before I look at the sheet, how did it feel, bro? I had to hold both hands. It sounded good, man. Yes! Yes! That's pusher power, bro! That's what I'm talking about, motherfucker! That's why we're the best, bro! Look at that shit, bro. 700 fucking horsepower on pump gas, man. God damn, 706, bro. Excellent work, bro. You are a master, bro. I was pointing out before how you uh, you put uh, yellow paint on everything that you touch to yes. make sure that it's all perfect. Yeah. Everything is um, crazy glued. All the hoses. Yes. So that nothing's gonna pop off. Yeah. It's masterpiece, bro. Thank you. How do you like the Busher products, man? They work pretty good, no? Yeah. Yeah. This is this is on pump gas. Yeah. The two two nozzles of Aquamis. Right. This is a really nice car, no? It needs yeah. a little more fine tuning and a little adjustment. But basically, uh, this could be a very impressive street machine. Oh, it is already. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice piece. How does it compare to the best that Ferrari has to offer, man? How would it how would it fare off on a on a street race? It's. I, I think it's not even fair. This thing will destroy that, right? Yeah, this will take it. This will take a couple of them actually. We will have to roll out the big machines like the Enzos and you know the big cars. They get it on the top end, no? On yeah. a, on high speed. Yeah, yeah. The Evo is kind of dead after 150. Right. Well, but, it's uh, aerodynamic, so we yeah. have to enclose the body yeah. a little bit. Yeah, it will kind of fly off the road. Sort of, yeah. But uh, power-wise, he's got the power. Yeah, oh, yeah. Definitely. It's running good. No dry sump system, no fucking, no, not even an ignition system on the car. No, nothing. It's we haven't even gapped his plugs yet. We're going to have to take his plugs out and gap right. them a little tighter so that it doesn't misfire. Right. Stock manifold, for the pusher, and that throttle is very impressive. Yeah, it made uh, 30 horsepower. Awesome, man. Well, out of car of making this kind of power, yeah. Dude, that's ridiculous, bro. Pull the eight grand too. Yeah, it's, it's a stroker doesn't really want to spin past eight grand, pretty yeah, strong. Torque, yeah. Let's it's analyze the sheet. The yeah, dude, it's pretty wild, huh? Dude, that shit is out, man. Good stuff. Bro, teamwork, man. Price could have 20 out of it. Let's do it, bro. Now, leave it alone. All right, I'll call the customer.